Hi there, and welcome to the WealthManagementStore.ca's video on how to access your CRA My Account user ID and how to reset your password. My name is Stacy Bartel, President and Founder of OBS Financial, OBS Tax Services, and the WealthManagementStore.com. Did you forget your CRA My Account user ID? Or do you not know if you ever registered with one? Well, if you're unsure, here's how to find out. First, we need to go to the CRA login screen. So go to Google and Google CRA My Account. Click on the link to get you there. Once you get there, you'll have two options. Option A, which is for sign-in partners, but in this case, because we're looking to find our user IDs and logins, you're gonna to wanna to click on B, CRA Login. The next screen is a temporary screen set up for the Canadian Emergency Response Benefit, or the CERB. Uh, when you get there, you're just gonna to wanna to click on the CRA Login. If this screen doesn't appear, then the CERB is no longer in place and you'll go directly to the CRA login screen. Once you get there, click on forgot your user ID and you'll go to the next information. Here's where you're gonna find out the information that you need in order to re-access your user ID. First thing you're gonna to need to know is your social insurance number. You're gonna to need to know your date of birth and the amount that you entered on line 150 or another line selected by the computer from your last year or your previously filed tax return. This information is available from the income tax package that you received from us at OBS Financial last year. If you do not have it, you can complete our online request for a previous year's tax order form, and we'll send you a copy of your notice of assessment from CRA, which will have all the information. Please note, the cost for us to send this information to our clients is $40 per request. That covers the time that it takes for us to obtain it and send it off to you securely. However, during the COVID-19 crisis, we will be waiving this fee up until April 30th, 2020. Once you have your tax return ready, click Next. The next screen that comes up, you're gonna be asked one question, and that is to enter your social insurance number. Enter your social insurance number and click Next. The next screen will ask you for your date of birth and the information from your income tax return as previously mentioned. Once you have those two pieces of information entered in, click on the next button, and you'll end up getting the copy of your user IDs. In this case, the user ID for Wiley e. Coyote was the Coyote. However, Wiley's forgot his user ID a couple of times and set up multiple accounts. So in this case, he also can use Meet Meep or Dinner Time. Either one of the accounts will work. He just needs to log in and reset his password. Speaking of resetting your password, if you forgot your password or because you forgot your user ID, you're gonna to wanna to reset your password. In order to do that, go back into the login screen and this time you're gonna select forgot your password. Once you get there, you're gonna select the user ID that you wanna use, click next, and you'll, answer, you'll have to answer your security questions. Now these are the questions that you would have originally set up when you originally registered for your account. Enter them and click next. However, if you forgot your answers, you will need to register and create a new account. Anyways, that explains everything you need to do to re-access your CRA user ID and your password. We hope this video has helped you and understand that you needed this information to apply for the, C for the CERB. At OBS, we are concerned about everyone and not only our clients. And that's why our team of experts are currently developing a video series on how to manage the COVID-19 financial this series will consist of 14 or so short videos that discuss everything from filing your tax return, doing a financial risk assessment, deferring your payments, refinancing to protect the unknown future, your investments, how to protect them and what is safe. We'll also talk about medical insurance. If you've lost your job, how can you access medical insurance even if you have pre-existing health problems? Understanding your pension options if you're laid off and your job is eventually terminated. Or, what is your ability to get insurance? Even in the era of the COVID-19 or coronavirus, insurance is still readily available from most suppliers. Anyways, I want to thank you once again for tuning in. We hope this video has helped out, and we look forward to seeing you on our website on some of our other information. Have a great day, stay home, and stay safe.